Hello, my friends, and welcome back to GFC Visions, Growing in Friendship with Christ. It's the 27th of December, and uh, uh, it's the feast day of the Holy Family, which uh, is a, a very beautiful reminder to us that, uh, that our families uh, are, are, meant to be, uh, are meant to be holy. They're meant to be places where Jesus and Mary uh, and Joseph are, are, are very present and are welcome. And uh, if we invite them into our heart and into our home, uh, not just at Christmas time, but throughout the day, uh, we can truly have a greater sense of God's presence and of the peace that, that he came to bring to the world 2,000 years ago. And uh, no, uh, they didn't have it easy. They, they had a very difficult life, as, as I'm sure you could understand from, from the Bible. Jesus was... Uh, he was hunted down uh, from the very first moment of his birth. The political leaders of the time uh, really uh, were out to get him from, from the very beginning. And Joseph and Mary uh, obviously had to, had to move quickly uh, from Bethlehem to Egypt and then back to Nazareth. And um, they didn't have it easy, okay? But actually, you know, that it's good to know that that the pain and suffering that we go through, that Jesus is not, uh, he's not distant from that. He, he participated in all of that. And our Blessed Mother and St. Joseph, they experienced all the anxieties and all the, all the difficulties of, of raising a child and trying to not only provide for their child, but, but peacefully you know, get along uh, with, with all the difficulties of, of living together. I pray for all families today because uh, family life is, is not easy, and uh, it's, it's never been a rose garden. But uh, there are lots of, obviously, moments of great joy and amazing, powerful experiences of grace. Let's, uh, let's sing, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. Hark the Herald Angels Sing, Glory to the newborn King. On earth and mercy mild, God and sinners reconcile. Joyful all ye nations rise, join the triumph of the skies. With angelic hosts proclaim, Christ is born in Bethlehem. Hark the herald angels sing. The newborn King, Christ by highest heaven adore, Christ the everlasting Lord. Late in time, behold Him come, offspring of the virgin's womb. Veiled in flesh, thy Godhead see, hail the incarnate deity. As man with man to dwell, Jesus our Emmanuel. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. I'd like to read to you uh, some of the insights that uh, were shared with me this, uh, this morning. Father Marius from Cork often shares some of his uh, homiletic insights through, through the web, so I'd like to share this with you, if I may. I'll read to you what, uh, what Father Marius uh, said on his um, sharing today about the Feast of the Holy Family. It's very beautifully written. First he says, Today we celebrate the Feast of the Holy Family. The Holy Family was indeed very special and unique, but also a human family and one that we can all learn from and try to imitate. In everything, the Holy Family sought God's will because they trusted their loving Father in heaven. In this, they had what we call fear of the Lord, which isn't to be terrified of God, but rather to seek His holy will and to have reverence and awe, knowing that we owe everything to God. Our psalm today tells us that those who fear the Lord and walk in His ways are blessed. 
They will bear much fruit and they will be happy and prosper and they will avoid much unnecessary suffering. In our gospel, the Holy Family go to the temple in Jerusalem 40 days after the birth of Jesus. They go to both purify Mary as the law had asked and also to offer their son to the Father. Mary doesn't need this purification, but she goes anyway in humble obedience. And Jesus also allows himself to be offered, like an ordinary child would, in humble obedience. He will, of course, truly offer himself for all of humanity on the cross. We also see that they were a very poor family, not able to afford a lamb to make the offering, but instead offered two turtle doves. Their poverty was how they wanted to live so they could be completely dependent upon God to provide, to look after them in his loving providence. Our second reading gives us advice on how to be virtuous in family life. Family life can indeed be challenging. It can be easy to be impatient, unforgiving, unkind to each other. St. Paul exhorts us to be compassionate, kind, gentle, humble, patient, and to learn how to forgive. Above all, to show love, that is, to put the needs of others before our own, and then our family will be very healthy. Our first reading tells us that a great way to atone for our sins, in addition to worshiping God and showing charity to the poor, is to honor our parents. This is keeping the fourth commandment. Joseph and Mary in our gospel witnessed the prophets Anna and Simeon recognizing their son as the Messiah, and their reaction is to return to Nazareth and get on with their daily lives and duties. This is indeed the path to holiness, to do the little things of everyday life with love and with great compassion. So we thank you, Lord, for the Holy Family as the model of all family life and uh, help us to imitate the great diligence and the trust that us that saint joseph had in in your power to to provide for for all their needs and our blessed lady thank you for her her humble surrender to uh, all the different trials that she had to go through as a mother and as a as a spouse to saint joseph and uh, help us, Lord, to, to, to entrust ourselves, as you did, to the care of Joseph and Mary. And may they, may they guide and protect the church and help us to be faithful servants of you, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. We say a decade of the rosary now for all families, especially those who may be undergoing severe difficulties at this time. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. The fourth joyful mystery, the presentation of the child Jesus in the temple. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, I give you my heart and my soul. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, assist me now and in my last agony. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, may I breathe forth my soul in peace with you. Amen. Our Lady of Knock, pray for us. St. Joseph the Worker, pray for us. I'll finish with a, a lovely Christmas carol, which uh, I will, I'll sing a cappella. What child is this who laid to rest on Mary's lap is sleeping? Whom angels greet with anthems sweet, while shepherds watch are keeping. This, this is Christ the King, whom shepherds guard and angels sing. Haste, haste to bring him loud, the babe, the son of Mary. Why lies he in such mean a state where ox and ass are feeding? Good Christians fear for sinners here, the silent word is pleading. Raise, raise the song on high, the virgin sings her lullaby. Joy, joy, for Christ is born, the babe, the son of Mary. Thank you very much for watching GFC Visions Growing in Friendship with Christ. I hope and pray that the rest of this year goes very well for you and that uh, the new year will bring many new blessings and new opportunities for you to grow in wisdom and in love in the new year. Thank you again, and God bless you. Mm -hmm.